So last time we left off, we had an app that was starting to look more and more like Instagram. We had our tabs up top that would navigate us to different fragments. And um, then we had this navigation bar built on the bottom. But when you clicked on it, it didn't actually take you anywhere. So in this video, I'm going to actually attach navigation to these buttons. So they will, when you click on them, they're going to navigate to different activities. And when we get to this, this back button that is, doesn't actually take you back because there's already a back button on the app by default when you press this. So I'm not going to add another back button. There's no point to that. This back button will just take us back to main activity. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this and I decided to make these activities and not fragments because in Instagram itself, when you click on the different navigation on the bottom, you can see that the tabs at the top change. So I think the best way to do it is probably to use activities and then I can put different tab tab layouts inside of the different activities. And that'll that'll work out best, I think. And if you'll if you'll notice in my demo app here, um, all these new activities that I put in uh, don't have a tab at the tab bar at the top, just main activity has the tab bar at the top. When I navigate to a different activity here, you can see the tab bar goes away. So we can we can insert new tab bars into these activities if we want. First thing we will do is we'll create a uh, on-click listener to the bottom navigation bar. So we already have our bottom nav or sorry bottom navigation view. So we have our bottom navigation view already declared here. So we can just go bottom navigation view dot set on navigation item select listener and then go new on navigation item select listener. Android will build that for you. I'm not sure what this boolean is for, but I'm just going to leave it as false. It seems to work fine regardless. And then we're going to do a switch statement. So we have five little icons in the bottom, so we're going to need a switch statement of five. So we get item ID, and then we can do some cases. So case one will be our ID will have our uh, back arrow. I think it's just arrow. And then case, we'll do another case where it will be the uh, IC Android. And I'm just going to copy this a bunch of times. We have five total buttons. And the middle one was the books. So I see it's not named books. I need to fix that, I think. Um, we'll come back to that. And what was the next one? Next one was center and then backup. So I see center, I see backup. And this is named wrong, I'm guessing. So let's go into activity main. No, no, into the menu. Uh, where's the menu? Here it is. Go into the menu and so we have our books and it's named music for some reason. So okay, we'll change that. Change that to books. And go books. Okay. And we're gonna need a break statement inside each one of these. And whoops, I set up my switch wrong. Let's grab those and stick them in there. There we go. And each one of these is gonna need a break, so we can just throw those in right now. Okay, and then Inside here now, we're just going to use intents and navigate to the various activities. So I'm going to make those activities first of all. So let's create a new Java class, and the next one, the first activity, we'll just call activity one, and we'll extend app compact activity, and we'll just insert on create, so on create, and set content view r dot id no r dot layout dot uh, activity one we'll call it all right now we need to make this layout so go create a new layout file activity one throw it in here and we're gonna need to throw in our our uh, coordinator layout so we need this bar to show at the bottom on each one of the activities we don't care about the tabs the tabs are gonna go away but when you click on these uh, activities we need this bottom bar to be there so to do that we're actually gonna need to use a coordinator layout so I'm just gonna go over into activity main and I'm gonna copy this whole thing close it. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to get rid of the things I don't need. So I don't care about, uh, should I keep that? I'll just get rid of the tabs. So no tabs. I'll leave this relative layout in here just in case we want to add something at the top later. Like if we want to add tabs into um, these new activities and we'll get rid of the view pager. We don't need that. And we want to keep this bottom navigation. So we'll leave all this in here. So because this is activity one, I'm just gonna throw a text view in here that uh, lets us know that this is in fact activity one. 
So our width will be match parent and height will be just do wrap content. Then we'll put a little margin on the top, just do ADDP. And let's set the text size to 30 SP, so it's nice and big. And then we're gonna give it an ID of activity title one for uh, activity one. And then I just wanna center this text. So there we go, that's fine. This is just gonna help us identify which activity is which for when we're testing. So now we have the first activity done and we have the first activity layout done. And we're gonna need four more of these we, because we have five total buttons on the bottom. This is gonna be main activity, activity one, activity two, activity three, and activity four. So I'm just gonna copy activity one, I'm gonna paste it and call it activity two, do it again. Activity three, do it again, and activity four. And then we do the same thing with the layout. So grab activity one, copy, paste, and it's gonna go activity two, and paste again. Activity three, and paste one more time for activity four. Now we need to just go back into these and change a few things. So I'm going to close all and go into activity two and just set this to two. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to go into activity three and I'm going to set this to activity three and then activity four and set to four. Okay, that is fine. Now let's go into the layout to make sure everything's good. So let's go into activity two layout. And the only thing I'm gonna to need to change is actually this ID. So I'm gonna change this to activity title two. And everything else should actually be the same. So I can close that, let's go into activity three, scroll down, change this to a three, done, close it, go to activity four, and change to a four, and that's it, close it. Now in each one of the activities, I need to uh, actually create that text view widget and we need to set a, a text to it. So text view, uh, I'm just going to call it title equals text view find view ID, r dot id dot, uh, what is it, something title, activity title one, there we go. Okay, and then do title set text, this is activity one. Okay, now I'm going to copy that and I'm going to close activity one, I'm going to go into activity two and do the same thing, but I'm gonna call this act this a two, and that's good, close it. Now I'm gonna go to three, and do the exact same thing. Close it, and four, good, four. Okay, now before I forget, let's go into the manifest and add these activities to the manifest. So activity one, close and activity two, close. Activity three, and activity four. Okay, that's done. So now we have all of our activities and we have them in the manifest and we have our layouts. And so now we can go back into main activity and we can actually make these intents to navigate to those activities. So I'll create an intent. And uh, this one's gonna come from main activity. Oh, actually, that's uh, this because this one's actually gonna be the one that navigates to main activity, so it doesn't make sense for me to put it in there. So we'll do this one first. It's, so it's gonna be from uh, main activity to activity one dot class, and then we can just do start activity and pass the intent. And so this will navigate to that uh, that activity one. Then we can just copy this. Do the same thing, but change it. Oh, let's make this uh, intent one, intent, oops, intent two, intent one, intent two. And this one's gonna be going to act, oops, activity, activity two. There we go. And copy again. Same thing, but we're gonna change this to a three, change that to a three, and I'm gonna change this to a three. Okay, and now number four. So four, four, uh, four. Okay, so maybe before we do anything else, let's just test this and see see if this is working correctly. So let's run the app. Okay, so it opens up to main activity fine. Tabs are still working, buttons are still working. 
cool no crashes now let's test the navigation so let's go we expect if we click this back button it should do nothing okay good Android should take us to activity one okay cool now this is a different bar this is the one that's in activity one itself so this isn't going to be working properly but if we go back to main activity click on the next one we have a crash all right let's see what's going on here something wrong Ah, okay I forgot to change the ID so activity two needs to have that and I'm guessing I did the same thing with these yeah so that needs to be three and that needs to be four okay let's try again okay so let's click on the third one that works or the second one that works fine and the third one that works fine and the fourth one that works fine okay cool so everything's working right now so now we just need to basically do exactly what we did in main activity with these but do it in activity um, one two and three so let's so let's do that exact same thing so we're going to need to create the bottom navigation view um, object so we can just take all of this so we're going to take everything from the navigation to where on create ends this is where on create ends so we can copy that let's go into activity one and just paste that in and we're going to just need to change a few things so we're going to need to add the activity main navigation so we'll call this intent zero and it's going to come from activity one and we're going to go to main activity so all of these are going to change to activity one we don't actually need this one because if we're in activity one we don't need to navigate to activity one and all the rest of these are good so once again let's copy that whole thing and we'll go to activity two and paste it in oh did i make a mistake this yeah this has got to go oh no that's right from activity one to main activity that's fine so okay this now this is going to be activity uh two so you're coming from all these are going to be from activity two uh, this one gets deleted activity two activity two and we can copy this and put it in here and this is going to be intent one intent one and this is going to be act activity one that looks pretty good i'm going to oh what happened here extra bracket there we go did i do the same thing here no that looks fine okay so oh i grabbed on create that's why so i'm just going to grab all that again go to activity three paste it in these are all going to be activity three this one can this one can be deleted um oops why didn't that that goes there and let's go back here and i gotta grab this intent one put that here and change this to activity three that should be good so now i'll come oops forgot to copy grab all this again copy and last one we're going to do activity four here so activity four all these are going to be activity four we can delete whoops what did i just do there we go delete this and copy this one more time put that in there we'll call this uh or actually i can just which one was this this is three activity three uh this is going to activity three okay that looks good now i'm just going to go back into activity three and just make sure i have all this right so main activity activity one activity two activity four that's good these are all activity three uh this one is activity one missing two which is good three and four and then uh these are all two which is good and this one is one 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 and main activity two three four yeah okay so it looks good let's run it and see if we get any errors all right so this should take us to activity one activity two activity three activity four so now the nav bar is working in any activity but you'll notice that this highlight this highlight doesn't change so unless i'm in main activity it doesn't change it doesn't it doesn't change at all actually so so we need to fix that um so we can go back to main activity 
and we can declare uh, what is it? Uh, menu. Menu. I think we need a menu first. Menu menu equals bottom navigation get menu, and then menu item equals menu dot get item, and here we can declare the the index for the item. So, okay, oops, Let me give that a name. So because we're in main activity, that's the zeroth item. So we're going to use get item zero, and then we can do uh, menu item dot set checked and do true, and now we're just going to copy. Uh, these and put them in each one of these. So let's add it here, and we're just going to change the index that goes to one, and the same thing here, but we'll change it to two. This one, same thing, change it to a three, and this one, the same thing, but we'll change to a four. All right, let's see how that is. Okay, so main activity, activity one, activity two, activity three activity four, and each one of them is highlighting the correct position. So that's good. It looks like everything is working. I don't see any crashes. I don't see anything. So that's it. So this it was kind of a lot of copying and pasting, but that's that's what you gotta do. It, we're just, we're setting up the navigation. We're not actually adding any real functionality yet, but now now the app is set up so that we can, we can start actually adding things to it. We could, uh, like if we looked at Instagram, I believe if you click on this position with the heart, um, it, it pops up another tab and you have a uh, possibility of two different tabs. So that's one thing that we can do. Uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do from this point forward, but I was thinking of putting like a card view in here or something to make it look like Instagram's kind of main, main feed or yeah, I don't know. Just let me know if you guys have any ideas. I'm kind of, I'm pretty open to ideas at this point now that we've set up the, the look of it and it looks, it looks pretty good. So I'm ready to put put kind of the next thing in here. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.